today we're going to do filet au vin rouge or chicken and red wine. Some of you may know this as a coca vin. That's when you do it with an old rooster that's tough and you want to make it tender. Well, we're going to use a nice tender hen so it'll be poulet and not coke. Here's your ingredients. The only thing missing here are four tablespoons of all-purpose flour mixed with some cold water that we're going to use to thicken this up a little later. Now we're going to start off with a nice hot pot with some olive oil in there. We parted out our chicken. We want to brown off these chicken pieces prior to cooking this. So we're just going to get ahead and toss all those in the pot. We're cooking this dish today with a Merlot wine, which is a Beaujolais region of France. Traditionally, coca vin is cooked with a, a Pinot Noir, which is a Burgundy wine. Okay, we've taken our chicken out of our pot, and we're going to put our bacon in. Now we've chopped this up. All we want to do with this bacon is render the fat off of it. We're going to take the bacon pieces out and we're not going to use those at all. We just want that bacon fat to cook our vegetables in. Now with that we're going to go ahead we're going to throw in our onions, our celery, and our carrots. And on top of that we're going to dump in our garlic. What we want to do is just cook this until the onions are translucent. Now with that done, I'm going to go ahead and pour in about a cup, cup and a half of our red wine. Now we just want to mix this up real good and use it to deglaze the pan. Okay, that's the whole idea of this. We want to get all that goodness off the bottom of that pan. At the same time, we're going to go ahead and put in our tomato paste and we're going to mix this up. This is the starter for our sauce that we're going to have later. Go ahead and stir that tomato paste in good. And we want to bring this to a boil once again. Alright, we've done that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in the rest of our wine. As I said, we're using a Merlot today. I didn't have any Pinot Noir and the Merlot was a, a good wine to use. A very, very popular grape in France. Now that we got that in there, we're going to pour in that flour and water mixture that I told you about. And what we want to do is thicken this up. So we're going to bring this to a boil. We're going to let it reduce down quite a ways. We want to let it reduce about halfway. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to put in our bay leaf, put in the rest of our seasonings. Okay, we've got our sprigs of rosemary and thyme. You can tie these off in a bundle if you want. I just pick the stems out after it's done cooking. I don't mind doing that. Get those mixed in there real well. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in a quart of good chicken stock. I'm using a low sodium chicken stock here. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and dump in our mushrooms. We've just cut these in half. Uh, you could use any kind of good wild mushrooms. I happened to get a hold of some shiitake mushrooms that were fresh. So I was really anxious to use those in this dish. And now we're going to go ahead and put our chicken back in the pot. Just push it down in there. It will all fit in the six quart pot, believe it or not. I wasn't quite sure at the beginning here, but by the time I finished, I found out that it pretty much filled the pot up, but it stayed in there. Did a real good job. Now we're going to take this out to our wood pro. And the reason we're doing this, people say, well, why don't you just do it in the oven? We've preheated our wood pro to 350 degrees. Okay, this is an old provincial French dish. It's a rustic dish. If you do it on your wood pro without a lid on the pot, it's not going to boil away. And you're going to get a nice smoky flavor in there, just like it was cooked over a wood fire in the south of France somewhere. Okay, we've cooked it for two hours and 350 in our wood pro. There it is. We're going to dish it up with some mashed potatoes. It's a delicious dish. I hope you try it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 